Okay, the next reader is Jim Ringo. Car feels good. Feels nice. Fat fingers feel the wheel. Feel like a fat cat. Cadillac. Be the man of jar. Drive the big car. Fishbowl echo. The salesman peeks in at me from the other side of the dash. Keys dangle from his hand. Dangle alongside his smile. I watch him from the plush leather seat. I lean into it. And the headrest so nice. I feel settled in. Sunken in. I wind down the electrically wound down window. Not a sound. Luxuriously soundless. I take those keys and insert them into the ignition. Listen to the low growl of power. Now that you're in, take her for a spin, and the showroom opens wide. I look, and the salesman's nodding. I drop in the drive. The sidewalk, crowds make, the sidewalk crowd makes way for my passing. Nice car, one of them says, and I can feel as they watch the caddy near lift off the ground, near float out onto the street. The traffic's a slow, easy crawl going nowhere. And I dig how the caddy accelerates without a jolt, smooth. Not like the Subaru I've been kicking around in. I twist the radio, acoustic guitar comes out like slow motion. And the man on the radio says, Maybe you're in the city street sprawl, going bumper to bumper. The out at five fly. Well, I want you to look. I want you to notice the car out your hood past your nose. The one in front of you. Look familiar? Look the same? Do you recognize it? Have you watched it? Been behind it five, maybe six city blocks in a row? And there is, yeah, has been this Audi, yellow. He's jammed on the brakes unexpectedly once or twice, so he's caught my eye. And the man on the radio whispers, maybe I could interest you in a little excitement. Maybe get you into a little friendly acceleration. Get you to pass a car or two. Get you to take a chance. I talk to myself, not the man on the radio. I say, hey, it's a new car, not even mine. And I shake my head. Then I brake again for the Audi, and I hear the radio say, want to get in, want to play, want to try your luck? And there, beneath the magnetic Mary on the dash, all dressed and veiled with a plastic nub of a Jesus in her arms, I see playing cards, two of them, the two of clubs and the four of clubs besides. Go ahead, pick them up, the man on the radio says, and I study those cards, kangaroo straight, possible flush, I don't take it serious. Odds aren't worth it. Odds, the man on the radio questions, worried about odds? Well, let's make it easy. What do you drive? 20, 25 miles an hour? Let's say you take it up to 30. 30? I got traffic all around me. I got city traffic. I got a blind spot over here. I can't see without twisting all the way around, taking my eyes off the road. But there is an opening. Someone in back of the blind spot making a right-hand turn off of this busy street. I don't know where he'd possibly be going, but if no one else switches lanes, I might make it. So I make my move, and in an instant, I'm from the left lane and into the right. And even if someone had been there, they're gone now, what with the good Cadillac whack I'd give them. Then I step on it, and I'm from 20 to 30 in seconds flat. I even push the horn slightly, getting the Ford in front of me to push it, push it. And then when clear, I weave left, and that canary yellow Audi is looking at me through my rear view now. The man on the radio says, time for cards. I look beneath my head of Mary. There it is. I flip the jack of plugs. Maybe it was the expression on my face, the smile that betrayed me. Because then the man on the radio says, I check. It's your bet. I look straight ahead and I see a rotary. Confusion. Lanes merging and opening. I jolt the wheel slightly right, cut my way up the middle, enter the rotary at 35 miles per hour. Let the momentum of the turn suck me along. I hear brakes skid behind me. I lean into the gas, look down at my speedometer, my clubs, the radio. I come out of it at 45. There's a worried FM silence, a tentative bet. I raise a 10, he says, and I know he's just observing me, calling my bluff. The speedometer is reading 55, and we're not even out of the city yet. I see a red light. I see traffic slowing up ahead, my only shot. I jam it, jam through, nearly missing a collision with the north south bound. The man on the radio swallows hard as the highway gets wider. The sun shies away over the horizon. I flick on my high beams and push the caddy uphill and into the country. I open a vent, and the air feels nice, clean, stained. The apple orchards are speckled red and yellow, and the maples are the same. Farm stands spring up like little pieces of yesterday, and families with freckles drive in and drive out. I feel lucky to be here. I feel like I'm in a calendar. Cards, I say to the man on the radio, and I reach to Mary. Being the lady she is, she slips me another club. The ten this time. What's your bet, the man on the radio is worried to ask. I smirk and smoothly let it pick up the 65, then 70. I'm the fastest car there is, and the left lane is mine, all mine. The man on the radio knows this. He doesn't raise my bet. He just says to me, you think you're cocky. You think you're going to win this game. 
Here's your last card, kid. Care to bet it blind? Blind? Yeah. So I accelerate without looking. 80, 85, and the caddy holds tough. Doesn't shake an inch. Clear up to 90 miles an hour. There you go. I'm holding that wheel, feeling the tension in my arms. There's my bet. From behind, I hear a siren. I watch blue lights flash on the shadowy landscape. Make your bet, I bang on the radio. Your call. And the man on the radio fans his hand. A straight, 10 high. The blue lights get closer. I pick up my last card. I keep my eyes to the road. Kill the headlights so as not to be seen. Then I look. I hold the card to my nose to see it. I lose all concentration. I slow down. I pull off to the side. Time passes, and the caddy, a honey of a car, seems to park itself and rest in the cold country air. A bowl of stars tips overhead, but I do not see them. Instead, I look at the cards laid out before me on the dash. The two of clubs, the four, the ten, the jack, and the jack of diamonds. A pair, no flush at all. I couldn't tell you, but it seems I've been looking at these cards for a while now, and beyond them, at the emptiness up the road. And I am hearing the man on the radio ask, stuck in a rut? Stuck in the breakdown lane? Wondering when maybe something better might come along? Well, maybe I can interest you in a little excitement. I look from the car to Magnetic Mary, who is glowing now in the darkness, and there's a smile on her face I did not see before. She smiles at me while the man on the radio asks, So what do you say, huh, kid? Thank you. That was Jim Ringo.